We're going to talk about Judith Love Cohen. So she was actually the engineer, or one of them, one of the engineers, who brought Apollo 13 home. She did a lot more than just that, though. She kind of did it all. But, you know, when she was growing up, she was the type of personality that uh, didn't need permission to do big things. She was born in Brooklyn in 1933, and she was the daughter of a working, ca- a working class family. So, you know, from the start, she, it, it, was, it started to be obvious to her family that she was wired a little differently. You know, while other girls were being told to play with dolls, Judith was taking apart radios and solving math problems just for fun. And, you know, by the time she hit fifth grade, her teacher actually banned her from doing her classmates math homework. She was solving everybody's problems so fast that she was actually skewing the curve. Judith never apologized for being brilliant. She, she really, uh, she has a great mind and she wanted to use it all of the time. And so, you know, um, by the time she was in high school, she actually had one of her guidance counselors uh, flat out tell her that girls don't become engineers. And instead of arguing or, or saying anything, really, she just ignored him. And she, she was like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, which, you know, kind of seems to be a hallmark in Good vibration stories. All of these people, if they had listened to the naysayers, they wouldn't have become who they are. She earned a degree in engineering from USC, and then she became one of the only women in the entire program. While other or while some professors, you know, barely would acknowledge her, others could not deny her talent and she graduated near the top of her class. She was ready to take on whatever came next, and she didn't start small. That was NASA. That was the aerospace industry. So she began working on systems that would change human history. She developed uh, a guidance and navigation technology for the Minuteman missile. And then she went to work on the Hubble, State, uh, Hubble Space Telescope. And she, uh, she then, I guess, accomplished the mission that would define her legacy. You know, that was Apollo 13, the moon mission that went wrong. You see, that mission nearly ended in disaster. 